What's up, people? A new From the Devs beta just released. Um, if you want to know more about the changes, check out Borderwise's video. What do you mean he hasn't made a video yet? Damn it, Borderwise, what am I paying you for? Oh, wait, never mind, I'm not paying you anyway. Well, in short, basically, there have been a few changes mostly to uh, make AI easier to use, but what I'm more interested in are the reverse launch pads. The medium ones have been around for quite a while, but now we get small and large ones too. Yay! Quick recap, reverse launch launchers basically turn the missile around in the rails, so it gets thrown out engine first instead of head first. The Deepwater Guard Duster uses that, and I use it in one of my hydrofoils as well for the torpedoes, because the ship is, is faster than the torpedoes themselves. I didn't really care about them too much before, but now that the update dropped I to, took a better look at them and uh, came up with a little something here. Now I integrated the system into the Helios for counter missiles. Uh, quick progress update on that by the way, I got rid of the minigun because it was just too many sub-objects and also it was a bit too cheesy in my opinion. So naturally I replaced it with a bunch more spin hooks. This is mesmerizing. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not that kind of YouTuber. <clears throat> Anyways, here's the counter-missile system in action. If there is no enemy near, nearby, it's closed, but if somebody attacks, the doors will open to re reveal the regular front-firing missiles, plus here in the back, the backwards missiles. Oh man, there's something so satisfying in seeing massed active, active defenses in action. But why must all the beautiful things be computer colors? Why? So for, for comparison, I have three missiles here. We have a direct fire one, we have the reverse one, and we have a VLS. So if we fire them, immediately we see that the direct fire sprints ahead, obviously, tightly followed by the reverse one while the VLS just goes into space. Just don't use VLS for counter missiles, they're awful. And right here we can see that uh, there's not too much difference between the direct fire and the re reverse one, and uh, the reverse one will actually catch up very quickly, and well, they're out of fuel already. And this is basically its final form, the piggyback counter missile. Just ignore the turrets, they are extremely ugly. I built them just for this purpose. But yeah, basically we have uh, the missiles in the back of the turret facing slightly up. That means that if the turret aims at the enemy, that means the missile aims as well. And uh, if we fire the missiles, they have a very quick response time. Here we have large missiles, here we have the smaller ones. It just looks so cool. Because usually you don't have anything you want to put in the back of the turret because uh, all of the, the turret stuff except for the uh, firing piece is below a deck. So you don't really have anything to do there. And given that now the counter missiles are on your turret, you don't lose any deck real estate for dedicated counter missile turrets. Plus obviously they look so incredibly cool when they fire. Ah, I just love it. During editing, I noticed that I forgot to talk about the missiles themselves. They're pretty standard. Uh, missile interceptors, I use one turn, so that the missile doesn't fly straight back into the turret when it uh, cannot immediately find a missile to track. Uh, plus, uh, that gives you uh, still uh, a ton of fuel. Uh, thrusters set to maximum, obviously. The fins. Depending on how you might want it to look and how you pick your turret is, I might have to uh, play around with the start delay here a bit, and also how many ejectors per pad you want. Other than that, they are really just straightforward missile interceptors, nothing magic about them. I thought about maybe building a pod racer with the large missiles now that we have them, but unfortunately I ran out of time, so that might be a future project. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope that you have a great day.